we lose sight of Jesus' other power, the way he treated people. To me, in some ways, this is more powerful than walking on water. And this is more powerful than raising Lazarus from the dead. Jesus cared so deeply for all of humanity that he would sacrifice his life for the world. That is powerful. That is the power of the God that we serve. I heard a story about a director um, of a Christian organization in Haiti. And, um, and this organization was in, in charge of feeding the locals, right? They're providing medical assistance, taking in orphans. And there are a lot of Christian missionary teams that came through that organization. But the director said that there was one particular American group that, that caught the attention of, of the director. The reason being is that all of these other groups came through with their kind of own, pro they came, up, came in with their own programming of like doing VBS, um, they went to people's homes to pray, you know, did worship, they felt they fed those in need, they fed those who were hungry. Um, and I think those are all really great things to support the local community there. But this particular American group came in to, to help build homes. And they, they collaborated with the locals. They worked alongside them. And once they were done helping to build the homes, they left. And the locals were, were impressed and intrigued at the same time. So they approached the director and asked him, uh, who were they and why were they here? Because they didn't verbally share the gospel, right? So they're like, so then why are they here? You know, they didn't have to say much at all because by their works, they revealed the truth of God's love for their community. That's powerful. And just as we begin with Jesus comforting the disciples at the beginning of chapter 14, um, Jesus again offers words of comfort his disciples and he says I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the father may be glorified in the son if in my name you ask me for anything I will do it Jesus is saying that although I won't physically be here with you doesn't mean that you are alone because I will still be with you in spirit and that you will do greater works. We too are invited and welcomed into the Father's house. We too are invited and welcomed into this intimate relationship with the, tri with the triune God, with the Trinitarian flow. And we too are invited and welcomed to live a life of truth in order that we may continue to do the works of Jesus Christ. Will you pray with me?